Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long What's up guys, it's Josh. We're back again with another video. Uh, this is the next installment in my uh, Yale student interview series. So I'm back here again with another fellow TDer. Right. This is uh, Tyler Jost. He is uh, he's actually on the football team with uh, Walker and Ethan. You guys have seen them in other videos. He's in the uh, entryway across the way um, in the on the other side of TD. So still pretty close. All right. I think Tyler has some like unique perspective on like Yale and specifically like sports and how he like got recruited through football. Um, a lot of you guys are athletes or like looking at playing sports in college. So I think he can uh, give you guys a lot of great advice. And uh, it'll just give you another lens to see Yale through, just through another student. And uh, hopefully he'll share that with us. So uh, we'll get into the questions now. All right, we already introduced you. Uh, where are you from, Tyler? So I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm actually from Libertyville, Illinois, which is about 50 minutes north of Chicago. But it's much easier just to say Chicago when kids ask. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to explain. Like, I, uh, I say Northern Virginia, but most of the time I just say D.C., especially here. Yeah. Um, so for here, kids are from all over. So it's just easier for me to say Chicago instead. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely pretty cool just like being at Yale and like having so many different people from like everywhere across the globe. Yeah. Like literally everywhere. All my friends from back home, they're asking me, where are kids usually from? And I want to say New England, but it's just not the <laughs> it's, case it's because no, it's everywhere. Um, even in TD, you just get a small taste of everywhere because yeah. two kids that live by me, Sean and Sam, one's from London and one's from, um, he's from Hong Kong. So, yeah. so that's pretty cool. Um, so people here are from all over. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just big melting pot right so like uh, obviously you played like football in high school I assume that was a pretty big part but like yeah. give us a little rundown of like your high school experience like how did you like how did football progress through high school uh, how did like your uh, dedication to like academics and stuff and what exactly in your high school uh, like experience kind of brought you to Yale so I kind of picked up football when I was younger and then just kept playing it all the way up until high school um, and then once sophomore year I'd say hit a lot of schools not a lot of schools, but some schools started contacting me um, to like maybe play football for them. Um, and then I'd say starting my junior year, that really started picking up with um, a lot of different schools showing interest um, and having to make those decisions on who to talk to. But I would say starting that junior year is when it really started to pick up. Um, and I actually started looking at a lot of um, Power 5 schools, which would be the ACC, Big 12, SEC, Big Ten and Pac-12, those are, it's called the Big Power Five. Um, so a lot of athletes, um, that's the end goal, I guess you could say, that's like the highest competition level. Um, but I committed to Iowa State actually, oh, my really? junior year, my April, my junior year. Um, and that was, was going to be home. And then that kind of fell through. So then it was fast forward to, I think, November of my senior year. That's when Yale started really contacting me before signing day in February. Oh, wow. And so my whole recruitment with Yale was actually pretty quick. Um, a couple of the coaches came to come see me at school, and then I had to apply in very short time span <laughs> to try and get, <laughs> yeah, to try and get a likely letter. Um, but then it ended up working out. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm here. So I kind of had a funky unorthodox recruiting experience. It wasn't just Yale the whole time. I was kind of, I was committed somewhere else. And then um, within a few months then I was at a different school. Awesome. Yeah, uh, like, so how was high school for you? Like, where did you go to high school? Like how, did you do any like other extracurriculars other than football or like, uh, like what were your main acad academic interests? So I, I loved high school. Um, I really did. I liked a lot of my teachers. Um, I loved my hometown. So I'm from Libertyville, and I'd say there's about 20,000 people in my town. Um, so I'd say it's, it's, it's I love the, yeah, it's pretty yeah. small. So it was definitely a good community feel growing up, and I had the same friends from kindergarten all the way through high school. So it was really fun to um, grow up with the same group of kids, play sports with the same group of kids. And then when I got to high school, I really tried to venture out my scope on things, and I didn't just want to be 
considered a jock, I guess, like the stereotypical jock. Yeah. So I decided to um, try and get involved with concert choir, which I did my senior year of high school and ended up loving it. Oh, really? So, I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you so, do any singing stuff at Yale? I don't, but um, Unorthodox is a group on campus for the varsity athletes. So I'm thinking about maybe next year I'll be auditioning. Okay, awesome. So yeah. that'd be cool. Um, so I definitely just want to try and get involved with different things. I got involved with business classes in high school because I think that's what I want to do. Uh, in the future, so I did stuff with that. Um, but I really tried to just get involved with as many different things as I could. Mm -hmm. um, That's definitely a good tip. Because, yeah, I, I just, I would recommend that. Um, try to get involved with absolutely everything. Even if you are, whether it be an athlete, or academia is your thing, or if whatever, I would just venture out. Mm -hmm. And, um, that, that would be my biggest piece of advice is just trying to get as involved with as much things as you can before you get to college. Yeah, definitely. So uh, Tyler, obviously you went through the whole recruitment process. Um, you gave us a little intro to that before. Do you have any like specific advice to uh, students that are looking at trying to get recruited by colleges, but more the Ivy League specifically? So I guess my biggest advice that I could give um, would be to use social media. I would definitely say Twitter is a good resource just because that's an easy way for coaches to connect with you, send you messages, for you to send messages to them. Um, it's just a very, very easy way to get in touch with coaches. Yeah, that's what Walker said too. <laughs> Walker said that. Yeah. So yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Um, Twitter is definitely a great resource. Um, I would explore every option. And I say that in that even if a school contacts you and maybe you're not as excited about this school or this coach, you never know where that person could end up. Um, for example, I did the Northwestern Showcase because that's close to my home and a lot of colleges and universities will go to that to look for talent. Yeah. Um, kind of like a mini combine almost for high school students that will just come to Northwestern. Mm -hmm. And a lot of schools came up to me that were maybe smaller schools or schools I wasn't very interested in. But some of those coaches down the road would get promotions um, to bigger schools. So yeah. you really never know where those coaches will end up. And maybe down the line they'll say, "Hey, we we need a we need a for in my case an offensive lineman. What what are you thinking right now with recruiting?" And maybe at this point they're at a school that you end up being interested in um, mm -hmm. in the first place. So I would say to never cut off a line of communication with a coach because that that connection with the coach is really valuable, and you never know where it could take you. Yeah, that's a really good tip. You want to say something, Walker? We got a, we got a guest appearance from the Hello. man himself. How is everyone? Uh, they can't yeah. respond to you, Walk. Um, <laughs> Which I'm talking about. Just uh, stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Everyday life. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Like a little casual. Yeah. Yell stuff. Yell stuff. Nice. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. We will. We will do. <laughs> All right. Couple more questions. Um, so obviously, as like an athlete, you're you're pretty busy, pretty stacked. Um, do you find it hard to balance like academics and athletics, or do you think Yale does a good job at trying to manage those two? I don't know. Yeah, Yale does a great job of balancing the two. Um, I mean, being a varsity athlete, whether it's football or whatever, it's just a huge time commitment. And, uh, <laughs> happy birthday! You guys oh, happy it? birthday. Thanks, bro. Oh, yeah, it's Tyler's it. birthday, so make sure you uh, wish him a happy birthday in the comments. Yeah. This Thanks. video probably won't be up for like a week or two, though. So. That's all fine. <laughs> it's a week or two after Tyler's yeah. birthday. Did you guys get Ben and happy Jerry's birthday. for us? No. No, that's no. yeah, for us. That sucks. It's good, though. You should go You guys some. walk over like all the way by like the movie theater? We went to go see a movie. Turned out that movie theater didn't have the movie we wanted to see. So, in yeah, order to... go see some movie with like a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes, right? He thinks that listening to movie reviews is a good idea. <laughs> Whereas, you never listen to the movie reviews, you go see for yourself, that way you can have an honest opinion of it. He agrees. Do you agree? I say I agree. He agrees. Yeah. You can move Josh is out. I don't buy it. Reviews. I don't buy it. So in order to drown our sorrows for not being able to see the movie, we get ice cream. Great. Great choice. Thanks for the update, guys. Great choice. <laughs> What's going on with us? Yep. All right. Have a great day. Thanks, bro. Yep. See ya. All right, that was interesting. I may or may not go in. <laughs> okay, um, what were we talking about? Yale does a great job of balancing uh, athletics and academics. It's definitely tough to do both, mm -hmm. but I would definitely recommend it if that's um, something you'd like to do. Um, I've made some great relationships on the team, and I've 
really loved it. Um, and academics here are, are really tough or any school, they're, yeah. they're hard. So uh, I would definitely say that if that's something you're worth, you want to do in, um, at school, it's definitely doable. Uh, I do it, Walker does it, and uh, you know, it's, it's possible. It's a lot, but I, I love it. Yeah. Um, Yale really like values academics. Like, yeah. I feel like there's like, I don't know, at some other schools there might be some stigma of like like athletes kind of getting a break or whatever. That yeah. is not the case at all here. Like these these guys are some of like the hardest working people I know because they'll come back from like a three hour practice exhausted and then yeah. have to like work on homework till midnight. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. I respect you guys so much for that. Oh, thanks man. Um, yeah, I also think Yale does a good job of like, a lot of times like, I don't know, like athletes may be like separate from like than they're like the just the regular students and I feel like Yale does a good job at like like he's not I mean he's here with me and TD right now he's not the like the athletes aren't in their own separate spot like they get sprinkled between the residential colleges mm -hmm. just like everyone else does and the fact that like we get to like interact with them and you guys like yeah I mean it's not there's no divide is what I'm trying to say yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and I love that about about Yale that going into this summer um, I was able to get placed in a TD and there's not an athlete residential college or anything yeah. like that. We get, um, you know, we're with every other student on a daily basis, which I love. Like, I love having um, roommates that are involved with different things. I think it's I think it's the best just because, you know, it, it'd be fun to live with um, fellow football guys, but it's really fun to have um, friends outside the team too.